Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead slash Papa's Place, where you'll see just a little bit of everything. <music> guys, today we're going to be replacing the switch here that raises your deck up and down. Now, this here is the Bad Boy Elite series line more right here but this is pretty much the same process basics on just about any line more that has a rocker switch that raises the deck up and down well I know my switch is out and I've already ordered a new one but what I'm gonna do is show y'all if you in the middle of the mowing just like I was a few days ago and my switch went out I'm gonna show you how you can bypass it until you can get you a new switch, how you can raise your deck and lower it until you get you a new switch in. So I'm gonna get y'all over here close and we're gonna start going through this little process. All right guys, so on the bad boy here, you just got your panel here and it's four screws. I'm gonna remove them four screws, lift this panel up, show y'all how to disconnect the connection to that switch right there. You can see my switch just flops back and forth. It just went out. Something totally went wrong inside the little switch there. But we're gonna get around here and we're gonna fix this real quick. This don't take long, but like I said, I'm gonna show y'all how you can bypass it so you can raise your deck up and down, or at least do like I done, put my deck back down so I can continue mowing. So on the bad boy here, you got four screws, which it came, they little Allen head screws. But two of mine's done been replaced. They're not Allen heads no more. They vibrated out or something or other, and I replaced them with just regular screws. But you just remove them four screws right there. Guys, this is the same step to replace this blade engaging switch right here, which I have a video on I tried to attach above. Showed you a little bit about the engaging switch, and some, I think I got a little trick in there about that one too. You may want to go back and watch that video. But when you raise this up, I'm gonna have to get y'all down here in a different angle because that's high as that'll come up. I hope I got y'all where y'all can see it. But you just unplug this, you just grab it and wiggle it and loose and it'll come right off, which you can see mine was almost off because of course I had it off the other day when I was doing what I'm about to show y'all. You just squeeze this rocker switch squeeze it on each end and you can put, pop it up out of there just like that now how a rocker switch works the two middle ones is hot so when you do this bypass and the reason I'm showing you this is hot in the center and how the rocker switch works when you push it forward it makes this hot connect to this post and this hot on this side connect to this post and that'll let your deck down. Push it the other way, of course, it connects your height to this post on that side, and the height to connect the post on this side, and that'll raise your deck up. Like I said, I'm showing you this so you'll see how the rocker switch works, so you'll better understand what I'm going to do to show you how you can temporarily raise or lower your deck until you got a new switch in. So I'm going to turn my key on. Like I said, I'm trying to get y'all where y'all can see this because it won't come out of there no further. But you just take your piece of electrical wire, bend it into you, and you're going to need two of them. Stick one in the center, like I said. Now, if you mess up and touch the wrong ones, it's going to blow a fuse. It's got a five... Uh, it has a 15 out fuse down below this connection here 
but you take two of these wires and you put one on each side and it's kind of hard to do and you're holding this up here for somebody to see video in any way but I'm gonna get it See if I can get around here at a different angle. But you put it in the center and connect it to the front. Put the other one in there and y'all listen and y'all hear the deck go down. Well, that's trying to come up there because it's, no, that's down. But my deck's all the way down. So if you want to raise it up, you just connect it to the center and go to your back post. And you got to do this on each side. Y'all hear the deck coming up. But guys, that's how you can temporarily lower your deck in case you switch one out and your deck's up and you need it down so you can finish mowing until you order a deck. Now, put the new switch in, there's nothing to it. Put the new switch in. We'll turn it around just like that. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to make sure my switch is turned around because they had an up and down road on them. You want to make sure your plug right here, I know my arm's probably in the way, but you want to turn it before you plug it on there and test it to make sure on your switch has got up and down road on it, which is wore off this old one right here. I'm going to make sure it goes down when I push down. And that's what I want. So then you just press that on there real good. Make sure it's on there. I'm going to turn my key off so my deck will quit trying to move while I'm pressing that. Make sure it's pressed on there good so it won't come off on you when you're mowing. Make sure your switch is popped in place. And guys, that's it. And guys, that's all it is to replacing your switch. But like I said, there's a 15 out fuse in case you're crossing your wires and you blow your fuse, mess up and touch the wrong one. It's a 15 out fuse, which is the blue one. Little flat blade fuse. The little plug that the fuse goes in. I'm going to give y'all a close up shot. There's the little housing that the 15 out fuse is in. It's connected to the wire straight under your switch. It raises it down. There's also another fuse just like it. Just down there a little further. It goes to your deck engaging switch. So that's the first thing you want to check. If your deck stops raising up and down, is check that fuse first. Or if your engaging switch stops working, check the fuse first to make sure it ain't blue. And then you can test them switches, just like I just showed you, to see if it's the switch before you go trying to see if it's the motor down there that raises up the deck or if it's the engaging clutch. So now, guys, we're going to just stick this back together. These four little screws. And we should be ready to go. It ain't been very long ago that I replaced this switch here that engages my deck. And it wasn't totally out. It just done got to where you'd have to pull it up and sometimes it wouldn't stay engaged it's the switch wasn't staying locked in 
So I bought a new switch and I just kept the old one for a backup. In case that one quits on me, I can put the other one back in there until I get another one. These little, little screws in my fumble fingers here. This is probably why I ended up with two more screws. I probably ended up dropping them. There we go. Couldn't find them and had to just come up with two more there for screws. That's why I got two of the screw, screwdriver, flathead style, and the two original ones there come in there as the Allen wrench. So let's test her out again. Yep. That fixed me back up, guys. Now, guys, there's one thing about this lawnmower here that I didn't like. This switch here, when to me it was in here backwards. I wanted my switch to when I pushed the forward, it goes down. And when I push on the back, it comes up. Well, it was the other way around. Well, then when I just put this switch back in here this time, I put it to where my likings. I turned it around to where it does what I want it to do. It don't mind her. It's got up and down road on it, but I was in a habit of when I'm mowing, I wanted to let my deck down or come up. To me, forward ought to go down, back ought to come up. So I turned my switch around on there. That's something you may want to look at when you do yours, see how your likings is. But guys, that's all it is. Tell you, I hope that little trick helped somebody out. Like I said, I was in the middle of mowing the other day. And all I had to do is undo them four screws, take my little wire, let my deck back down. What it was, I raised my deck up. Then when I was going to mow again, finish mowing, my deck wouldn't let down my switch. Just went out like that. So of course I just took it off, took my little two wires, let my deck back down and finished my mowing and that night ordered me a new switch. Now I'll put a Amazon link in the description below this video of this switch here and I'll go on and attach the link to the de uh, deck engaging switch here also. That'll be in the description below this video that way it make it convenient for you if you got this exact lawnmower. Also, that switch, both of them switches work on several different lawnmowers. That's something you have to look at the research on when you look it up. Or, but they work on several different lawnmowers is what I'm saying. They're kind of common amongst different lawnmowers. But guys, if you like these little videos, please reach down there and hit that subscribe button. If you've never subscribed, ring that notification bell. Don't cost you a thing, but it helped me grow my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. Share my videos with anyone that you think may be interested in some of my videos. Pop all's place is more about all kinds of videos. I don't just do one style of videos here. It's just a little bit about life, things you need to know and do. And got a little humor thrown in there every now and then also. Also, I got a website, www.poorboyslittlehomestead.com. You may want to go check that out in your free time but anyway guys i appreciate y'all watching as always i hope you have a blessed day and a great week god bless see y'all next time